Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to our live. As usual, we have some delay on Facebook, so I'll give a few minutes so you can join live. And if you're watching the replay, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. And everything we do on this live work the same way if you're watching the replay. Okay. Hello. Today we're going to talk about dealing with uncertainty and the fear of the unknown. I think it's a big thing, <laughs> right? Especially with everything that we're going through. Yeah. So we're going to do some clearings. We're going to connect as usual with the energy of the creation and see what needs to be done, what needs to be cleared, right? If it's the first time that you're tuning in, welcome. My name is Alessandra Martellini. I'm an energy healer, Theta Healing instructor and practitioner. Uh, if you're new to Theta Healing, Theta Healing is an energy healing modality. Uh, it's a meditation process that connects us to the energy of all that is, to the Creator, to God, to the universe, however you want to call it. It's such a beautiful and powerful modality that allows us to transform our limiting beliefs, our unconscious beliefs, right? If it's the first time that you're experiencing it, you're in for a treat. I hope you enjoy it. It's always very powerful. And when we do things in group, it, we kind of create this vortex of energy, right? And whether you're watching live or watching the replay, you tune into this energy, just this high frequency, right? And everything, all the changes happen so much easier, right? So, say hello, hello, hi, hi, welcome, guys. Yeah. So as I mentioned, today we're going to talk about dealing with uncertainty and the fear of the unknown. The fear of the unknown. And the very first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is what is the unknown? Because the thing is, the first belief, the first thing that I want to burst here for you guys is there is no fear of the unknown. It's not possible. If it is unknown, you don't know it. Sorry, it's a bit noisy because I'm outside. <laughs> so let me know if you can hear me, okay? Um, so there is no fear of the unknown. The, if it is unknown, you don't know about it. What is, what happens is, you project fears into the unknown. So it's your fears based on things that happened in your past, right? That are projected into the unknown. Does it make sense? Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Can you let me know if you hear me okay? If it's too noisy. If it's too noisy, I'll put the, the uh, earphone on. Please let me know if it's okay. Um, yeah. So obviously, we are all going through the massive <laughs> uncertainty right now, right? No one knows what's going to happen. Absolutely nobody knows what's going to happen. So whether it is um, this collective consciousness of the unknown, thank you, Judy. I'm glad you can hear me. Great. Um, so whether it's for you, like it's this uncertainty, this collective fear that we're all going through right now. Right, we're all going through. Nobody is is um immune, <laughs> right, from this fear. So thank you guys for letting me know. Um, whether it is that's what you want to uh, disconnect yourself from, whether it's this collective consciousness, or it's something in your life particularly, any transformation any decision that you need to make 
they will take you into the unknown that is you know giving you uncertainty right uh well we're gonna tune into all of those things okay yeah 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 um because here's the thing everything is uncertain life is uncertain there is no guarantees there is no guarantees right there are no guarantees <laughs> um, the only certainty in life is uncertainty right we all know that we all know that and the thing about uncertainty is it makes us feel feel vulnerable it makes us feel out of control and we love to be in control don't we right because when we are in control it gives us the false sense of power when we're out of control it makes us feel powerless right yeah and we don't want to feel powerless and the thing is when we feel powerless two things happen first we easily step into the fear and right now with everything that is happening in the world with this COVID situation with this pandemic um, it's creating such an easy way to go into the fear and everything is structured for us to go into the fear and we drown into the fear because we don't understand it and when we are in the fear we make bad decisions when we are in the fear we let people make decisions for us we're all like okay who's gonna give the solution right now right so we're giving our power away and that's not healthy that's not healthy and that goes into the second thing when we are in this state we feel when we feel powerless we trigger unresolved things from our childhood when situations that we feel powerless are gonna get triggered and we're gonna have the same emotional response that we did back then if it is not resolved we're gonna relive it right so my invitation to you guys is let's heal our powerlessness you know because when we feel powerful it doesn't matter what's happening around us it doesn't matter if it's uncertain it doesn't matter if it's chaotic if we focus on ourselves not in a narcissistic way that's based on fear but from a place of like I will take this opportunity as an opportunity to heal myself to heal what's being triggered within me right hello Roy welcome back my dear yeah <sighs> so okay I'm going to invite you guys to close your eyes and I'm gonna guide you into a meditation this is a theta healing meditation and what this meditation does is it brings your your brain into a theta wave which is a very very low brain wave and when we access the theta brain wave we can access our unconscious minds everything that is stored there that needs to be resolved right now and we do this from a place of unconditional love from this energy of creation okay so take a deep breath in close your eyes breathe in through your nose and out slowly through your mouth again breathe in through your nose and out slowly through your mouth when you do this breathing and you breathe slowly through your mouth it makes your heart beat be a little bit slower it calms your system so if you're in a situation of anxiety or panic or fear do this for a few times and you're already gonna feel some improvement so I want you to bring your awareness to your heart that big beautiful heart of yours 
Just breathe into your heart. You're gonna imagine energy coming from the core of the earth, that mother earth energy, that mother earth energy coming through the soles of your feet, up to your legs, grounding you, nurturing you. This energy is gonna go all the way up to your body, aligning each chakra from the base of your spine, up from the top of your head, it's going to come from the top of your head in the form of a ball of light. Imagine this ball of light. And it's like a piece of your consciousness. It's inside this ball of light, safe and protected. Take a moment to notice what color this bubble of light is. And you're going to start traveling upwards through the roof, through the air, through the atmosphere, traveling upwards, through the stars, the planets, all the galaxies. Keep going upwards through the whole universe. Use your breath, keep traveling upwards from inside this bubble of light. You're gonna reach a series of lights, some bright lights, some dark lights, go into those lights and keep traveling upwards. You're going to reach a golden light. This golden light is the realm of the ascended masters, the angels. Go through this light. Go into this vast golden light. Keep going upwards. You're going to reach a jelly like substance all the colors of the universe. These are the laws of our universe. You're gonna reach for the pink mist, which is the law of compassion. Allow this pink mist to surround you in your bubble of light as it guides you into a bright iridescent white light. You may imagine a door, a window, go into this window, into this bright, bright light. Go into this light, go up, keep going upwards. This is the unconditional love energy, the creation the source of everything. Just take a moment to notice how it feels like to be in this energy of unconditional love. You're going to notice that the bubble around you will dissolve. And you're going to become one with this energy. Just notice how it feels like. Use your breath. 
from this energy we can do anything, anything we want. So we're going to ask for an instant healing. Creator of all that is, it is commanded unconditional love is sent to every cell of my body, releasing everything that is ready to be released. Thank you, it is and it is and show me. You're just going to witness as this energy of love is downloaded into every part of your body. This life force energy. And as it does, I want you to set an intention. What is it that you need to resolve today? What do you want to resolve? We're talking about the fear of the unknown. How to deal with uncertainty. What is uncertain in your life right now? If you think about this thing, it can be one thing, it can be specific to you, it can be about this whole pandemic situation, whatever it is to you, think about it. This uncertainty. And just allow whatever feelings, whatever thoughts about this to come. Know that you're safe. You're safe to feel it. I'm here, the creator is here to resolve this. Mm -hmm. What are you afraid of? What is the worst thing that can happen? What is it that the unknown mean to you? What is in the unknown that you're so afraid of? What is it that you think you don't have any control over about this? What is unresolved that needs to be resolved right now? That is being projected into the unknown, into the future for you. Just allow the answers to come. You may see images in your mind's eye. You may feel something in your body. You may just hear and answer, just trust, however and whatever comes to you. And I want you to allow this answer to come to this question. When have you lost your power? When did you first lose your power? What happens is, 
we recreate situations over and over again in our lifetimes in order to resolve something. So what is it that you're always recreating that is actually just an opportunity for you to heal the trauma of powerlessness, of being too vulnerable, of feeling weak. Use your breath. Remember to breathe. Whatever it is for you, can the creator, the energy of unconditional love, Resolve this for you right now. And you may become aware of something that you need to become aware of in order to resolve this. Maybe it's a lesson. Maybe you learn something from that situation. For some of you, it comes from childhood. It comes from situations where your parents did not appreciate who you were. All the conditions, we're all conditioned by society, by our parents, by our family, into what they believe is right and true. And that doesn't necessarily mean that's right and true for us. So we learn how to sacrifice our own power, our own voice in order to be loved and be accepted. Right? So what is it what was it for you? And first of all, can we send forgiveness to your parents, to your caregivers, to your caretakers? <laughs> to everybody around you to your family because the truth is you chose it you chose the family that would give you the perfect circumstances in order for you to learn what your soul came here to learn you you chose the perfect circumstances of uncertainty of chaos even in order to learn So what has your soul come here to learn and experience? That from a human perspective can be suffering and painful and you can feel like a victim. But from your soul perspective, it's perfect. What is the gift within the chaos? What are you still not allowing the universe to teach you about this? That will help you move on and will help you embrace uncertainty and embrace vulnerability and embrace yourself. Can the Creator return to you 
your soul fragments, the pieces of your soul that were lost and exchanged with other people throughout your life. Just allow it to happen. You can imagine, visualize it, feel it. As those pieces come back to you, they're washed in Creator's love and return to you. And all the pieces from other people that you're still holding on to, they're also going to be released and washed and sent back to the owner. Mm -hmm. Can the creator release the trauma of the situation or the situations that made you lose your power, that created a sense of powerlessness within you? Can you release the beliefs that you are nothing, that you have no say, that no one listens to you, that no one understands you? If you want those things, just say yes out loud. The Creator is going to hear you and you're going to release and receive all those things. Can we teach you there is power in everything that you do and everything that you are? Always. Can we release this belief that being vulnerable means being weak, means being powerless? Hmm. Okay, can we also release all the self-blame that you're holding on to? In any, way, in any way that you blame yourself for everything, in any way that you were made to be the scapegoat in your family, everything that happened was your fault. And you created this anger, this resentment within you. Can the Creator release this? You don't have to hold on to this anymore. It's not true. It's not true. You're not the one to blame for everything. In any way that you also learned that you needed to be the good boy, the good girl. You needed to do everything right in order to be loved and accepted. And that meant to you uh, to sacrifice parts of who you are. All those parts of you, you that made you you that were sacrificed. Can we allow them to be brought back? Take a deep breath in. Mm -hmm. Can the Creator show you and teach you how to see the gift and the uncertain? It's amazing to have goals and aspirations. All that is good. But when you are attached to the outcome and to the process of getting those things. You don't allow the universe to show you what's better. If you think, oh, I want this amount of money by this date and it's, come, it's gonna come in this way, you're not allowing space. 
What if there's an even better way that this money is going to come? So can we teach you how to be inspired by your goals but not attached to your goals? And how to be flexible and embrace this uncertainty as a good thing. How can you see uncertainty as a good thing? What if it is the best thing about being human? As humans, we have this reptilian brain, right? That makes us look for safety. It's a very survival mechanism, right? It's our survival brain. So when we go into fear, we allow this part of our brain to take charge. And when this part of our brain takes charge, we forget everything else. We go into survival, into animal mode, right? We lose consciousness about the vast, the vastness of the universe. We forget that we are the creators of our lives. And we forget, and the thing is, we, we, uh, we lose the power, right? We associate our power with external conditions. But the power, the power is within us. It's not because there is safety around me that I'm powerful. No, I can access and use and direct my power, this ability to co-create no matter what happens. So can we teach you how to do that, how to access your power? No matter what's happening, your power is yours. It's always yours. And can we teach you how to release this need to control everything and to show you that you're safe? Get you out of the survival mode. And teach you how to live from curiosity instead of control. Because we tend to catastrophize thing, with, with things. We, can, we tend to think of the worst case scenario, right? I know, I, I need to get out of this myself sometimes. Right, so like with all this uncertainty around us, we tend to think like, oh, what is the worst thing that can happen? And focus and fixate on that. Right, oh my God, we're doomed. Everything's gonna go to shit. <laughs> but what if, what if this, whatever it is for you personally and in general in the world, what if this is the best thing that can ever happen? Because nothing happens just randomly. We create this. We created everything. If we created it, there is a reason. And it's not out of um, self-hatred. Our souls don't hate us. They don't hate us. They're creating situations for us to heal and to step further and further into our own selves. So what if this global situation what if this situation in your life particularly whatever it is for you what if this is the best thing that can ever happen to you how can this be the best thing what if amazing things will happen from this right now can it can suck it, you can feel all kinds of bad feelings and it's okay to feel them but it's not okay to let them control you you feel them, 
you heal them, you understand them, if you need to understand them, you work through them, you do healing, you do book sessions, whatever. But then you ask, what am I learning? How can I get out of it even better? How can this situation bring me even closer to my dream than I've ever imagined? Ask yourself, let's be practical about this. We've been dealing with COVID now for over a year. What good things have happened to you because of COVID? Some of you may, you know, because you're at home more often, you're working from home, you're spending so much more time with your family, right? For me particularly, it pushed me into doing things online, into doing these lives. I've been doing this since December. It's something that I knew that I needed to do for years, but I was too afraid. So I was doing my local things here in Florence, sometimes, you know, reaching five, ten people at a time. <laughs> but it pushed me into doing this. I'm having clients from all over the world, all over the world, literally. People watch my lives from every single continent. It's insane. Right? I'm expanding so much more. And if it wasn't for COVID, I would probably be still procrastinating on this. Right? It sucks on a lot of levels. Right? But what, what parts don't suck? What parts are actually amazing? Focus on those right now. For a few minutes, I wanted to really list everything. Small things. For example, for me also. Uh, last year, I realized that I have artistic abilities. I've always thought, oh, I wish I, uh, I, wish I had, I, I wish I was an artist. I always admired, you know, people who can paint and draw. But I had this belief that I was not an artist. Who said that? <laughs> so I was bored one day and I started drawing. And I was like, you know what? That feels very good. I was like, you know what? I'm going to learn how to draw. And I started learning how to draw on my own and how to paint. And now I can do it. I'm not Picasso, you know, but I'm quite good at it. <laughs> I'm quite good. And I was like, wow, I am an artist. So what is it that you've discovered about yourself during this pandemic? I discovered that I'm also an artist. <laughs> Right? What have you discovered? Hidden talents. What have you learned? Another thing that is like very, very powerful about the situation, it puts everything into perspective. Right? Your values probably got very, very clear. And if they haven't, it's because you're not paying attention enough. What do you value more than anything that you're being deprived of right now? Connection, for example, right? Oh my God, I'm single. I live, you know, usually, I mean, I'm on Airbnb right now, but I'm alone. And I thought my entire life that it was okay, that it was fine. But having the world telling me that I should not, I could not have people around me, really showed me that I actually need people around me, <laughs> right? That my friends, my family, people that I love are the most important thing for me. The most important thing. Right? So what is it for you? What values got rearranged for you? What dreams have you rescued back from the dead? <laughs> Because let me tell you a secret, not so secret. <laughs> with, wow. with every fear comes a desire. If you understand that there's always a desire in your fear, things change. If I'm afraid of being alone, what is the desire? For connection, right? For relationships. So. 
what is the biggest fear right now for you? And what is the desire that wants to be acknowledged for you right now? That is hidden in the fear. How can this fear be a blessing for you? What part of you got suppressed for so long that is now coming up in the form of this fear to be rescued, to be acknowledged, to be loved? What do they need? I want you to imagine this part of yourself in front of you. Can be your child, your inner child, I mean. <laughs> Can be your heart, whatever it is for you. Imagine this part of yourself in front of you and talk to it. Ask it, what do you feel? What do you need from me? What do you want? What's happening in your life? What is going on? And whatever this part of you needs, give it to them. If it needs to, just to be, you know, heard, say, I'm here. I'm going to hear you. I'm going to listen to you. You're worthy. I love you. If it needs to cry, hold their hands. While they cry, say, it's okay to cry. It's okay to feel this way. It's okay to want what you want. If he wants to give you something, wants to say something to you or give you something, allow it to give it to you. Send this part of yourself, your unconditional love and presence. Say to it everything you've always wanted someone to say. Give it to it. Whatever you always wanted someone to give to it. And you never got. Because you're safe to see it, to bring it back to you. So allow this part to be brought back into your heart, into your mind, into your body, into your soul. And receive everything you gave it. All the love, the acceptance, the acknowledgement, everything, receive it. Knowing that you are powerful, you were always powerful, you just forgot. Can the Creator send you more unconditional love? Strengthening your connection with the universe, with the earth, with everything. You are part of this unconditional love. You are part of this infinite consciousness that created everything. And you have the right to access it. When you're lost, when you're feeling like you don't know what to do, you don't have to know what to do. You can ask. Connect to the Creator. Do this meditation. I have this meditations, uh, this Theta Healing Meditation available for you. If you want, download on my website. Or remind me, I'll, I'll put on the link afterwards. But you can listen to it over and over again until your brain is used to connecting with love and making decisions out of love. Love for yourself, love for the universe, out of love. How would it be different to make decisions out of love instead of out of fear, out of survival, out of desperation? 
willing to make so so much better decisions, right? Out of power because love is power. Power is not control. That's what the the, the, the society wants us to believe. But it's our responsibility to change, to shift out of it. Love is the only way that we're going to revolutionize the world. And it starts with you. How can you shift your thoughts, your feelings from love, out of love, out of self-love? It's okay to feel what you're feeling. Forgive yourself for feeling low, for feeling whatever it is that you're feeling. You're human. It's okay. But then send yourself love, connect to love. Breathe in love. Remember what you want, what you desire. And allow the universe to bring it to you. Always for your highest and best. The universe wants your highest and best. Can we release the belief that God is against you, the universe is against you, the universe is conspiring against you? That's not true. Release this. Can we teach you the opposite, that actually the universe is with you? is helping you, but you have to help, your, help yourself as well, allowing yourself to go inside, to heal, to breathe, to feel. And you don't have to do it alone. That's why we're here. We're all, we're all doing this together. We're all healing. You don't have to be perfect to help people. I'm certainly not perfect. <laughs> but I can still help you, right? I still help you. And as I help you, I help myself. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I'm not giving you and depleting myself. I'm giving you and receiving. Can we restore this flow for you? This flow of giving and receiving. Release the belief that you just need to give and give and give, or you just need to take and take and take. Release that. There is a flow and can just allow you to live in this flow. You give what you can without depleting yourself, and then you allow yourself to receive what you need. In amazing forms, in unexpected ways. There is a difference between power and control. So can we clear this association that power is control? You can be very powerful without being in control. Actually, power comes from trust, self-trust and trust in the universe. So can we restore this self-trust, this trust, this faith in life, in the universe, in your soul, in your heart, in your whole self because when you're operating from this place of trust it doesn't matter what's happening around you it doesn't matter that you're in an uncertain situation situation you can handle it you can find the flow you can find the answer right mm. Yeah. Take a deep breath in. I want you to focus back on your heart and allow the whole power of your heart to expand all the love pure unconditional love that you have within you expand to your whole body outside of you around you throughout the whole universe throughout all the layers of light just expanding into the atmosphere expanding to everything that is you're one with everything you're one with the earth with the animals with people with the bugs <laughs> with 
everything with inanimate objects. Everything is made out of the same energy. It's just different vibrations. So if we're all made of the same energy, we're all creators. So for the next few seconds, I want you to just focus on the one thing or more if you want that you really really want that your soul desire what does your soul desire and just focus on it and feel it and really really feel it as yours you can create it let go of the how surrender trust the process of life it's not a straight line mm -mm but trust that it's, you're creating it, that you can create it. No matter what's happening around you, can we teach you how to accept reality, accept what's happening around you without being, like, seeing as a sentence? Like, oh, well, there's COVID, I cannot do anything, no. There is COVID. Mm, what is the opportunity there? How can I make the most out of it? How can this, again, how can this be the best thing for me? How is this the push that I need into the right direction? What do I need to do right now? To allow myself in the flow of this uncertainty. Yeah. <sighs> Just allow the creator to send you unconditional love again. And I'm seeing an image, so I'm going to share with you. I'm seeing a flower, like a lotus flower. And the thing about the lotus is it grows from mud so how can you grow from mud how can you become that which you already are from the mud of this mess whatever it is for you right now of the fear the lotus doesn't become the mud it grows from the mud i'll repeat that the lotus does not become the mud. It grows from the mud. You don't become the fear unless you want to. You can grow from the fear. You can grow from the feeling that you're fe feeling right now. You can grow from it. So how can you grow? How can your beauty, your uniqueness grow from this? How can you see it as a blessing? Can we teach you how to can we teach your brain how to see things as a blessing instead of as a curse? And that you can bless yourself and things around you and people around you without giving your energy away. Beautiful. Can it teach you how to be the lotus? However it is for you, whatever it means to you. Be this lotus of amazing potential and beauty. Okay, take a deep breath in. I want you to imagine that energy coming from the core of the earth again, grounding you from the soles of your feet up, all the way up to the through your legs, to your chakras from the base of your spine up, all the way to the top of your head. You're 
always connected. Remember, you are always connected. You can always remember that. We forget, but it's okay. You can just close your eyes and intend. Intent, set with this intention to remember that you're always connected to earth, to sky, to everything, to love, to this unconditional love. And can we, one final download, can we teach you how to let love in and how to let love guide you? How to let love in and how to love, let love guide you. And when you're ready, when you're feeling vibrant <laughs> and grounded, you can come back, open your eyes. How are you guys feeling? I'm cold. <laughs> it's getting cold now. Let me know how you're feeling. And as usual, if you need me, uh, if you want to go deeper, uh, contact me and we can book a session. We can go very deep into whatever still needs to be resolved within you. Um, please drink a lot of water. Sometimes I forget to say it, but drink a lot of water after healings. It always helps also to journal about things because sometimes it, it, it's like it's stuck between the unconscious and the conscious. So like when you journal, it kind of like brings into the consciousness whatever you need to, to be aware of, right? So it's always a good thing to do, to journal about whatever came to you today and yeah <sighs> yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it wasn't too noisy <laughs> I don't think it was the best idea to be outside but <laughs> oh, yeah. but fine Lee saying fear brings this I like that thought. Yes. It's not that brings desire, it just uncovers the desire, you know. The universe is based on duality. So when there's the negative, there is also the positive. Always. So we're very focused on the negative a lot, right? But if we shift our mentality, not in a way of like just focus on the positive because that's not healthy, but seeing both. So if there's a fear, there's also a desire. There's also love, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better, Judy saying, better been doing work on my stomach. I think this helped. I'm glad. I'm very glad. Yeah. We're on the same, just what I needed today. Yay. <laughs> okay, beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining me again. Uh, I'll see you next week. I'm not sure exactly when or the topic, please send me topics, <laughs> it would help to know what you guys want, and yeah, oh, they saying when you talked about flow, energy coming and going, my hands opened up and palms up, with palms up, yay, you're now ready to receive, <laughs> beautiful, 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 thank you, thank you, Laura, and well, if you guys need me, just send me a message, and we'll talk. Have a beautiful day. Bye.